Hey Scrappy friends, it's Ashley and I am here with a video tutorial for using the print and cut feature with your Silhouette machine. If you're a Cricut user, my friend and fellow design team member for the cut shop Kelly Janes is sharing one um, using the Cricut machine and I will link to her video in the comments below. So we're going to get started. This is a free printable called Summer Sizzle. What you want to do first is just open it up and you want to adjust your page settings because you want to be able to print. So if you go under panels and go under page setup, you can do that and you want to change it to eight and a half by 11. You also want to set your registration marks. So what you want to do is go under paint or go under view. I'm sorry for your registration marks and it's going to bring up a little toolbox here. I usually do not adjust the length and thickness um, for the um, inset. You're going to want to want to adjust that so that all of your um, images are inside those registration marks. And then next you're going to want to select your trace area. This is two different ways. This is one way I'm showing you first if you don't have cut outlines. Once you do that, you want to turn the threshold all the way up and that is going to give you some outlines here. Sorry, my, um, my uh, clicker just clicked on all that and highlighted it by accident and I didn't mean for it to do that. Um, so what you want to do is once you have your trace lines, you want to go to offset and you're going to be able to adjust that to whatever you want. If you want a thick outline cut, um, you can make it a little wider. If you want it thinner, you can go down. I usually do like 0 0.50 um, just to get it kind of just a little bit to the outside, but not too much. And so now you have that offset. So then what you're going to want to do is move your print file back over that. You can see how I'm lining it up just inside those cut lines. And so once you get that in there, you're going to want to print. And when you print, it's not going to print the red lines. It's going to print all of your images and the registration marks. And then once you do that, you want to put the paper uh, you don't want to change anything. You want to put the paper on your cut mat, load it in your machine, and then you're going to go to cut and it's only going to cut the red cut lines. So that's all you have to worry about for that. And it'll cut out exactly how you have it on the page. Just make sure you don't move any of your images because if you do, it's going to just cut it all wonky and not pick anything up correctly. So now this is the second way. This is if you already have the outlines, which this file has for you. So it's already outlined and you're going to do that same technique, um, just tracing this. This is the cut outline page. So you're going to do that um, for select your trace area and then you've got your cut outlines here. And I'm going to copy it and paste it onto the page with my print image. And so now you want to go back and do that offset again so that you can get um, that kind of margin around your cut file. So I'm going to go to offset and then kind of just choose what I want that offset to be. You can even play around if you want the offset on some and then if some you want cut just right exactly along the lines you can also do that too. You can just mix them up and play along with those um, just to see how you want to get that done. And that was accidentally ungrouped so I wanted everything grouped together so I just selected over all of it and just grouped it so I could move the whole thing at one time. And I accidentally kept picking up the print part so <laughs> I had to try that one more time to get everything grouped together. And you can go under object to do that and just group everything. And then you just move it over like we did on the other one to make sure that your prints images are inside those cut lines. And then you're ready to print it and then you can send it on your mat after you've done that. It'll read your registration marks and it'll cut your image out for you. So I used the print and cut file in my Traveler's, Traveler's Notebook. Um, you can see some of the little shapes cut out here and I did do a white margin. Um, if you want to print these, I would suggest um, the Canon matte photo paper. That is what some of the ladies in our group, um, the cut shot cut shop scrap spot suggested um, and it works really great. It has a good print quality. Um, the colors are really saturated and look really good. So if you're wanting to print these printables and have them looking their best, I suggest grabbing some of that. I got mine on Amazon. Um, you could probably find it in some of the office supply stores and places like that too. So I am going ahead and starting to put these on. Um, I'm kind of doing a little title on the page with the flamingo um, and it's be a flamingo in a flock of in a flock of pigeons. Sorry, I have a little cold. So 
my throat is kind of dry and scratchy today um, but we were at the zoo and we took a selfie photo in front of the flamingos so I thought the um, printable would be perfect with this photo in the traveler's notebook and so you can see I'm just finishing off the title here I always kind of like to take these little stickers and stick them on my finger and that way I have them all in order and I can just place them where I want them and it makes it really quick to get those on there I mix this with a little bit of crepe paper. Um, the little flamingo paper is from crepe paper, and you can see that those little puffy stickers are also from crepe paper. It kind of worked with this theme and the printables. So I'm just kind of using some now to create some clustering around my photo. And I did want to mention um, this print this printable is free. It's only available in the cut shop scrap spot on Facebook that's our Facebook group um, I will leave a link to that um, with the information for the video so you can find us and head over and um, download this there are other shops that also have some cut files um, like the second set I showed you that have the cut outline I know that Kat Martin has a shop called the Minty Octopus and she offers the same kind of um, where the cut file and then she has the cut outline for you so this technique um, that I showed at the beginning of the video can be used with those two and she has some cute designs so you can check her out on Etsy also and we're going to start offering some more printables in the cut shop Etsy store so make sure you keep an eye out for those they're great for using in your traveler's notebook um, mixing with some other collections or just kind of using them um, by themselves you can also work them into your layouts cards any of your paper projects in your planners however you want to use those so I'm kind of finishing up some things here, just adding a couple of little stickers, trying to figure out where I want this other one. I didn't really like it over the heart because it covered too much of it, so I changed it over to that other side. And I felt like I needed a little something more on that right-hand side of the notebook, so I just cut some paper strips um, that I had in my scrap drawer and added those to the top and bottom of the page. And I like that that kind of grounded everything in and pulled it all together there on the layout and then I had some cute washi tape that I got from an Etsy shop so I wanted to just add the day there at the top and that will finish it up like I said you can head over to the cut shop scrap spot Facebook group to download the freebie and we'd love to see how you use it so make sure you come over there join the group we'd love to have you as a member and thanks so much for watching hope you got some great ideas for using print and cut files with your silhouette cameo machine